like 12 years old when I heard the keys. And today, today, I had a chance to meet the legend, my brother, Lucky. And I gotta say, like, he's a legendary guy, and he's the man right now. And all of us, sing. You see, you see, if it wasn't for Anna here, if it wasn't for Anna here, None of us will be doing music. Yeah. yeah. The keys made us believe, and the keys today are still the biggest thing. That key in there. Thank you, in there. Okay, He's the legend. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was like 12 years old, and I just used to get more soul. And I was like a boy from the key. The person in my life that I would say terima kasih to lah. First one would be my dad because he understood the dream, but he didn't. He thought it's just a phase of a young boy, you know, like how. When we are all are young, you know, we we we'll ask something from our parents, and our parents are like, yeah, you know, he's gonna come out of it. You know, it's the age. Um, but I bet if he was around, he 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 would have been so different. The second person I was I will actually thank is 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 I I call him dad, like even though he's not he's no longer around as well. I met him as a friend, then I became like his brother, like his homeboy. Then I started looking at him like a dad because I, I saw the leadership of. Of a man, and I, and I saw how he raised his daughters, and I, I was like, I could probably say he was like my goddad. His name is Gerard Lazarus, and uh, I thank him because he he's the one that told me like, stop measuring yourself with money. Money doesn't measure a man. He was the first one to actually make me see it, uh, and he showed me a lot of people that he grew up with that had just okay money, and they were much more happier in life, and they were much more contentful about life. So. You know, I, I always thank him, and he never ever gave up on me and my boys. No matter how many times we fucked up, he never gave up on us. He always said it's okay to fuck up. If you don't fuck up now, when are you gonna fuck up? So that was the beautiful, beautiful part about Gerard. The third person is uh, a friend of mine that I met at college from a very young age. He saw me wanting to become a rapper. I thank him for 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 seeing something in me that I never did. Suddenly, he came into my life in like 2014 and. 15, 16, he saw something in me that I never saw, and my friends never saw, and brought me to a different caliber of my life. His name is Vikna. He passed away a few months after Start the Thrilla came out, and it, 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 that was a very, very um, hard one because, like, in a few months after his passing, everything changed around my life. I learned how people were around me just for certain reasons, and how people can just change in terms of like. Um, how they treat you, how you are when you are with a certain person and when you're no longer. Palan Kashmir, Anne, number one, yo, he's one of the ropers, Tamil hip hop artists out there. He's a singer, the most humble person I know. To Mr. Palan Kashmir, the first, truest matcha I've heard, like I've met in my life because when I was 16 and growing up doing music, he was in the studio as well and he did his song, uh, Matcha. See, I see, I got it, I got it going on And it's my chuck, he got it going on And it's my chuck, he got it going on All my little mud chucks get 